Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So um, I mentioned yesterday that I finally got my home internet, my backup internet system running as intended um, with my two connections, my ISP connection coming off the router and a backup cellular connection coming off a 4G router. Both of those two connections going into a load balancing router, that's the TP-Link TLR470T+. Plus. Those are both feeding into the load balancer Load balancer is keeping an eye on connection one and connection two. You can see them up here in my uh, connections dashboard. And I have set up a simple backup rule that says, well, if we lose connection one, which is WAN one, let's bring up connection two, which is cellular, and it flips it back. Now, what I wanted to do in today's video was to do a quick test to see how well that failover is working. Now, I did this before with the TP-Link cellular router and i did that using um a uh using uh, is my internet up.com which will just ping your connection every two seconds but um i said i do this one a little bit differently just by pinging a google dns server uh because we'll be able to see more easily when the connection drops and how many connections were dropped so the way i'm going to do this is very simple i'm going to roll back here in my chair and i'm going to pull out the ethernet cable that's feeding the load balancer with the ISP connectivity, and then we're gonna see how long it takes. What I'm going to do is bring over to this screen here, and I'm just gonna ping away at one of Google's DNS servers, and I'm going to set the interval to one second. So we should be now pinging at a one second interval, and um, we're also getting a sequence. So because there's one second, every, uh, every sequence here is gonna be at a one second interval. What I'm going to do now is, as promised, make the, make the big move across the office to the load balancer back there. I'm gonna pull out the cable and uh, we're gonna see how long that takes to fill over to our second connection. Okay, so I pulled out the ethernet cable there and we can see that the ping test is frozen at 32. So it pinged, it pinged that server successfully 32 times and at 44, no, we're still not back, destination host unreachable. I'm gonna just 54. So it took between 54 is when it came back and 32 is when we lost it. So that was, um, my brain is freezing, 22 seconds to fail onto a viable uh, cellular connection. Next question is going to be, how long would it take to, to come back? And uh, that's probably about something, something similar. So that's my test with the failover time from ISP to cellular using the TP-Link TLR470T load balancer. Happened automatically, didn't need to do anything, but it does take a little bit of time uh, for that link detection because what's happening in the background is that uh, the load balancer is also pinging away at those uh, Google's Google DNS servers actually the same one and uh, It's taking just a little bit of time for it to send that ping register It's offline and then swap over the connectivity Hope this video was useful and if you'd like to get more videos from me then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel Thank you for watching